But these marshmallow men, like throughout the problem throughout this movie is that there's no rules. Like, are these ghosts? What what the hell is going on here? Yeah, and everybody's cool with them or what? I'm like, I don't get it. Yeah, I I, I mean that that's the but see that's, they're never explained. That's the thing. They never explain why we have certain appearances of familiar ghosts and, 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 and characters coming up here, you know? Look at this. They, they turn, <laughs> they have turning up. They, they straight up minions now. <laughs> they are straight up yep. minions, boy. Yep. And, and you know what? You know best to, you, this is low. <laughs> this is low for you. This is You ought to be ashamed of yourself for ripping off these minions. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm glad that you made the movie a little more family friendly, but goddamn, man. Hey, man you ain't got to be that blatant about it. People love minions, so uh, we got our own. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot in good conscience talk about Double Toasted Live in L.A. without showing that image right there. Double oh, Toasted you Live in L.A. That's from the art of Moss. He did that art right there. Some of y'all be getting that on a T-shirt, but I'll let you know about that in a little bit. So a wise man once said, Martin, and you need to hear this too, because okay. you're a youngster. You probably never heard this before. <laughs> Busted makes me feel good. <laughs> Not so wise well, right now. You, you never heard. You never heard that. Nowadays, you say pause behind something like that. No, no. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna say it because yeah. busting used to make me feel good. <laughs> busting hasn't made me feel good in quite a while. <laughs> there's other busting out there, but not ghost busting. Yeah, okay. Yeah. No. But, <laughs> Context no, matters. No. 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 I mean, y'all know what I'm talking about. You just being nasty. No. I'm See, not, that's I'm, what, that I'm was a say, test. No, Why you want to take it there? Exactly. No, 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 come that, on now. that was a no, test. No, no, to see everybody, how nasty no, your everybody, mind is. Everybody, everybody be saying the same oh. shit. Yo, pause. No, no, no man. You the, just a nasty new, son of no, a bitch. That's a new day and age. You know what? We are the new day and age because busting don't make me feel as good. <laughs> 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 yeah, been a long time since that kind of busting has made me feel good. And I'm talking about ghost busting, man. You know, that's why I'm, I, I want to capture that feeling again. That's why I'm always trying to be positive when a new Ghostbusters movie comes sure. out. And uh, we have a new one right here. And I have to say, I wasn't filming this trailer too much because they were telling me everything that I kind of feared they would do in this movie. Uh, you know, well, the Ghostbusters are back. And they're doing what they do in every movie. Clean up the city from ghosts until they have to fight a god and save the world. But like, this time. Thank this you. Good night. Th <laughs> thank you. That's it. Every, every movie. Every yeah. movie been the same thing. Except this time. It's a little different. This time. They, they, they are indeed. They are indeed fighting a, 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 a god. But this time, Martin. This time that God is cold blooded. <laughs> <laughs> they've been fighting it. Because in the last movies, they've been fighting the pretty much the same God over and over yeah. again. The same entity that's been trying to come down and Zool. take Zazul, 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 and, and, and I know they had a different one, but he was doing the same shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, <laughs> they, they all come down here trying to, you know, bring uh, bring ghosts back and rule the world. You know, and this this one's different. He says, I, you know, yeah, I want to bring ghosts back, but this time I want to I want to cause a new ice age out there. Why? I don't Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was just going to ask you. Say, yeah, like, there there that? That's why I said, I don't know. Don't, don't ask me. I can't tell you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. And apparently the movie don't either. <laughs> if you're looking for answers. I just want one time for the heroes to confront the, the villain and say, why are you doing yes. this? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you know, but see, the thing is, we're not here for explanations, and you better not be, because you ain't getting none. You ain't good. You ain't getting none at all. <laughs> you, you want a movie or not? <laughs> yeah. Listen, just you know, the best you could do is come in and hope for some good laughs, some cool special effects, and uh, some fun action. I mean, you ain't gonna get no explanations, but if you can deal with that, you might be in for a fun time, and we might, we might be in. Finally, hopefully, we might be in for a good Ghostbusters movie. Just my opinion. We haven't had a good one since the first one. Just my opinion. Do you count the cartoons? Movie, I said. Cartoon <laughs> is great. Yeah. The yeah. cartoon is awesome. Even the video game is great. Yeah. No, I heard the yeah. video game with the original characters in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, that's, what, that's what got me into Ghostbusters. Really? Was the game. Yeah, the game had a good story. I never played it, but I know a lot of people really like that game. The cartoon is awesome, but a movie, movies, boy, yeah, not I since the first one. Don't know what the hell y'all doing right here, man. But I, <laughs> I, 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 I'm not giving up on you yet. So how do we feel about this? Did they finally achieve? Well, let's go ahead and... Watch this trailer for Ghostbusters, The Frozen Empire, and we'll be back with our reviews. 
for the first time in New York history, a womb full of people grows to death. Damn, that movie has a lot of special effects. It does, mm. it does. And, uh, what are you doing over there? No, I, mean, I, was, I was looking at the cast. I, 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 I knew that was coming. I, 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 I was trying to be quiet with it. I was looking at the cast real quick. <laughs> you trying to be quiet, but you look crazy. But the camera wasn't on me. <laughs> and I, you, know, you know what I'm saying, because you looking at me while you would do it. Yeah, I hope you don't see me. <laughs> what you just grabbed it already? <laughs> I know I'm trying to... I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, the camera ain't on me. I'm like, let me just You ain't quiet. no ghost. I see you over there. <laughs> Just <laughs> like, well, I got this little fucking arm. Of it. I got this goddamn arm in my way. See, it's, 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 it's no, I, I, I didn't blow up, but when well, that trailer was playing, I sure was doing this the whole time. What you doing on? <laughs> oh yeah, I knew it was gonna happen. <laughs> Will you put it down already? <laughs> oh, ah, uh, so. Is this uh, this movie any good right here? Like I said, I've been waiting for a long time for a new Ghostbusters. I love the first Ghostbusters, just like anybody else out there. Uh, and to be honest with you, I'm not even looking for another great Ghostbusters movie. Is that that's just not gonna happen? <laughs> it's just it's just not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just I'm just won't, I'm not even looking for good at this point. I'm just looking for decent. I'm just looking for. Oh, I'm, you beat me down to okay. Can you just give me an okay Ghostbusters movie? And you know what? I'm gonna say, as far as this movie starting out, they I feel like they gave me a great Ghostbusters movie. It did everything I was asking for a new Ghostbusters movie to do. You know, with the when this opens up, opens up strong. They got a good action chase scene going on. They're chasing after some barracuda uh, uh, a sewer ghost that we've never seen before. Something that a, di a whole different type of ghost reminded me of something that uh, we were just talking about a little while ago. Uh, and it's causing the team to go in and innovate how they capture ghosts since this ghost flies through the city. This time they got to bring in new technology like uh, like the uh, the capture device, the containment unit is on a drone. And I thought, all right, you know what? This is a creative yeah. and, a, and a very imaginative, exciting scene. I thought that taxi took her ass up. <laughs> <laughs> it's all funny games yeah. something like that happens. Yeah, they trying to capture her ghost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did they capture the ghost? Well, you just have to see the movie for yourself or not. But I tell you, I like what they're doing here finally with this new team. Like, you know, we have the team working on their own. And, you know, that new team is uh, Paul Rudd. Uh, Carrie Coon, uh, Finn Wolfhard, and uh, McKinney Grace as Phoebe Spangler, you know, the granddaughter of uh, Ope Spangler, the original Ghostbusters right there, of the of the original Ghostbusters. And, you know, I'm, I'm, man, I'm enjoying the hell out of this part. Did y'all like this part? I did like this. Yeah. I, 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 I like where it started. I mean, you know, it's picking up from the last one, yeah. which I just watched for the first time the, 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 day, the day before. What'd you think about that last one? I, I was I was up and down with it. Yeah. And yeah. some sometimes I was watching it and I was like, oh, it's kind of dull. And then I was like, oh, this is actually kind of exciting. Oh, okay, I'm mm -hmm. kind of liking the characters. All right, now it's getting into the typical kind of shit. To so they repeat where they repeat the last movie. Yeah. It's yeah. got some good ideas in yeah, it, the yeah. first one. I yeah, think, yeah. You know. But I what I really liked about it was that it moved it to a different setting mm -hmm. and made it a different movie. Yeah. At least for the First, you know, yeah. for most of, for the first three quarters of it. I mean, yeah. you know, it is a Ghostbusters movie, so yep. it, it has to ghost, you know, bust ghost and yeah, all. Of course, but but I was like, this 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 is the way to do this. Yep. Now I was thinking the same thing, man. I'm like, this right here, I'm loving it. I'm saying this is brilliant. This is what I've been asking for for years. Was it really that hard to do? And the answer is yes. 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 It's very. Yes. It's very for them to do boy and because i'm enjoying this and i'm, I'm and what man once they capture that damn fish ghost that's when the nostalgia comes in for the <laughs> love of god jesus and everything precious on this planet can y'all stop with all the nostalgia man and i'm saying this because nostalgia is what is really sidetracking any good ideas that are going on because uh -huh. that, that with, the, with the last movie what i appreciate about that movie because listen ghostbusters amazing ghostbusters 2 
even the OG crew couldn't re- uh, make something original. They repeated the last movie. Just, <laughs> yeah, they just yeah. took out the Marshmallow Man and brought in the Statue of Liberty. No, Go- Ghostbusters 2 is the quintessential sequel that is just a remake of the previous movie. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's, not, it's a bad remake. Of it. <laughs> it's a bad, they didn't even try. Oh, shit. Uh, don't even get me started about that. They, all they did was uh, remake the movie with females, the 2016 movie. I'm sorry, call me a sexist, but that was some bullshit. Uh, that okay. last movie was actually they had some good original ideas, but they couldn't stop with the nostalgia, and they made the same mistake with this one. You know, uh, I, I listen, I, and I know, man, I know y'all can't stop cold turkey with the nostalgia. I know you can't. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, but this is like, like somebody you were weaning off nostalgia with the last one, and he's like, I got to give you a little bit, a little bit of message. Yeah, yeah. cold turkey. Yeah, and this. This one, they had a complete relapse. They sure oh did. So God. I'm not even asking y'all to stop cold. I'm just saying, just ease up a little bit, just little by little. This time y'all came in even stronger. Okay, man, it got me. <laughs> that nostalgia be calling me, be calling me. You know, damn boy, I'm uh, man, I'm telling you. And the, the, the thing with the nostalgia is that it derails any real original story that they have in this, man. Um, like with, uh, with, uh, with this one. Where the f- did Slimer come from? <laughs> Slimer, last time we saw Slimer, he was contained. He was in a unit. How the hell did he get out? They gave no explanation for that except that, hey, Slimer's a fan favorite. And we exactly. trying to sell some toys. We trying to sell some toys. What the hell? Everybody loves Slimer, right? Yeah. Right. I, I Everybody- like Slimer. Just tell me what the f- is he doing here? Uh, and these and y'all starting to kill me. With these marshmallows. Oh my god. Oh. These marshmallows. <laughs> Bro, every time too. It's funny, watching the last one, I remember how much you hated them. And I was like, I don't know. They're kind of cute in a, in, a, in a minion sort of way. Oh, <laughs> but, they, they, they got but, you too, yeah, they, they, yeah, they said, what'd you say? Yeah. <laughs> what, oh, you, you say you like them? Well, I ain't say I like them. I'm just saying, man, no, 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 no. You, you, you like Marshmallow Man. Here we go. Here, here you go. Hey, hey, here's a bucket. Here's a lot of it. Boy, they, boy, they took a whole bag of Marshmallow Man and just dumped them all over the floor. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But then they had to. Do I know, you, you think? <laughs> I said, okay. Now that, I thought that was funny. I said, they they see what I'm feeling. They see, that, that's a joke for uh-huh, me. They, uh-huh. they they're telling me, yeah, no more nostalgia. This is bullshit. But then, what are you doing? It's a nightmare. <laughs> I smuggled them back from Somerville. That's all it is. That's all the movie stops for, for some right. Minions gremlin shit going uh-huh. on. And it does it a couple of times, too. It does uh, all through uh, the movie. It does all through the movie. Uh-huh. Yeah, every time you, you forget about him, it goes like, hey, 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 hey don't, don't right, forget right, these. Right, right. But the thing is, but these Marshmallow Men, like, throughout the problem throughout this movie is that there's no rules. Like, are these ghosts? What what the hell is going on here? Yeah, and everybody's mm-hmm. cool with them or what? I'm like, I don't get it. Yeah, I, I, I mean, the, that's the, but see, that's, they're never explained. That's the thing. They never explain why we have certain appearances of familiar ghosts and, 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 and characters coming up here. You know, look at this. They, they turn it, they have turned it up. They, they straight up minions now. Yeah. They are straight up yep. minions, boy. Yep. And you know what? Those best. This is low. This is low for you. This is you ought to be ashamed of yourself for ripping off these minions. I mean, I'm glad that you made the movie a little more family friendly, but goddamn, man. Hey, man you ain't got to be that blatant about it. People love minions, so uh, we got our own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Aren't they cute? Don't you want to eat them? Uh, yeah. We can yeah. sell these. Straight toys. Yeah, in the toys. Toys. No, food. Actual yeah. marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just next time have the minions come out and introduce the, the, the Sony logo. <laughs> if you won't be that shameless, but it's going all the way with you. You'll have one wearing glasses and another one wearing suspenders. Right. And yeah, yeah. personalities. Yeah, yeah. yeah, just give them a yeah. Name one Carl or something. You know? That's next. <laughs> Why is the library ghost lady in this? I thought she was contained. You know, it's just, they just, you know, it's just, it's, this is ridiculous. Well, I, I've always had a question, and maybe you can answer it. It's uh, since ghosts are, you know, the spirits of people, why do all the ghosts look like creatures? Well, that, <laughs> that, that, that's the, that's, see, that's what I liked about this. And here you go. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Y'all have seen the trailer? Here's, here's, here's Slimer right here. Look at this. That 
that's just an old callback. I got slimed. You know, they're just yeah. repeating the joke that they had back in the day. Slimer is just a fan favorite. That's why they had him back in here. Again, you know, I'm I'm looking at uh, why is the ghost library ghost lady? Why is she, you know, why is she messing with Dan Aykroyd again? I thought she was gone, but the uh, but see that's what they that's what I liked about the cartoon. Mm -hmm. so the cartoon had all these different ghosts, and they were just kind of like demons and other creatures, ah, and yeah, okay. and, and there was and that was <laughs> and there was a science behind it. Too. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Cause, yeah, because yeah, that's what we were talking about. When we got out. It was like there was just no no science behind it, it's no rules, so it was just a free for all. Whatever we feel like doing, we're just gonna do it. Yeah, yeah, you know that's that. No, exactly, exactly. They just. You know, here, you know, you 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 uh you you were so you were so concentrated on where to shove in the nostalgia in this movie that you still have, you know, you you you, you the, the the actual plot or uh, actual original ideas that you have in here, those have to kind of just find room around the nostalgia. Uh -huh. Excuse me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> anybody sit anybody yeah, sitting yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that, that one's taken. What is yeah, about that one? Yeah. You know, you you have you have a, a, a you have plot elements in this movie, but most of the the ideas in this movie they feel like they're just hanging around, you know, just doing just doing random things until they finally have some use for them in the climax, you know, for a big special effects climax. Or these ideas were just in place; they're just wasting time until they're the end of the movie where they're there to defeat the villain. Mm -hmm. You know, that's I mean, they, 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 like they have a whole new character introduced in this movie. I'm not going to tell you who it is or what it is. They have a whole new character introduced here that has nothing to do until the last moment where there's a last minute save here. Mm -hmm. I was like, right. really? That's what that was for? You wasting my time with this because of that? Oh. Worse, you wasted that character's time. In here. I know because they could have done so much more along the way. They come in way past the halfway point, yeah, and then they're just a yeah. device to to save the day. Yeah, and a lot of these original ideas have nothing to do until the last fifteen minutes of the movie, and this is an hour and fifty five minute movie. If you include the credits, you know, and some of these ideas, they <laughs> some of these ideas feel so random. That they just start ripping off other properties. I don't even think they mean to do it. Uh -huh. Why we got an airbender, a firebender in here? We got to have a truck. <laughs> we, we got I'm thinking the same thing. They got a firebender up in this movie, man. <laughs> Why? There's no real thought behind it. They just need a character with fire, with fire powers, to defeat an ice villain. That's well, all they needed you know, it for. The, the ice villain, you know, he's a. He's a, a waterbender or an ice yeah. bender, so I guess you get a fire. <laughs> okay, well, if he's gonna rip off Avatar, then you need to rip off Avatar too. Everybody get the Avatar powers out here. So I'm surprised I'm not bending water and shit. <laughs> like, where's a little bald headed Asian boy? <laughs> Let's go ahead and do it, man. <laughs> Just rip it all off if you're gonna do it. <laughs> you know, so far, we don't, we don't, we don't ripped off Ghostbusters itself. We done ripped off the minions, yeah. and now we ripped off Avatar. Yeah. This is what happens when you have no original ideas. All you have the original ideas, you don't do a thing with them until the end of the movie. It's rich, rich, you think I'm joking, I'm not, I'm not lying. No, 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 you're not joking. I This movie, to me, it felt like it came together because they were like, wait, we can get the original cast and some other people from the first couple movies? Oh, yeah. Shit, let's, let's write a movie around that. Yeah, yeah, exactly, man. So, you know, there's so little thought behind these things that it, it just makes no sense. You know, with, speaking of that firebender here, I don't want to, This I'm not trying to spoil anything. I'm, and maybe, maybe, I will warn you right now, maybe I'm saying too much. I don't think so. But I would just say this without trying to give too much away. And I'm just going to show the avatar since it's pretty much the character in the movie. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it, a lot of these things don't make any sense. Why would you not tell a very close relative of yours that you're next in line as pretty much a firebender that has to protect a relic that could possibly destroy the world? Why would you not tell them that? Why would you keep that shit hidden? Uh, okay, well, that seemed to be explained that it was probably told to that person, but they were just uh, such an was, airhead. It, it, it wasn't, yeah. it wasn't uh, listening. Yeah, I, I no, I heard that. I didn't buy that. I, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I got another one of those type of things. Where, well, 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 I think I well, let me see. I, I well, let me see here, man. So, let let me because there's something that I was also wondering here. So, uh, again, 
You know, they bringing in things that we that we've seen before. They got they got Dickless back <laughs> from the first movie. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, William Atherton. Yeah, what's his name? William Atherton. William. Yeah, he's so he's the mayor now. He still hates these Ghostbusters, boy. As well, he should. He still wants. <laughs> well, the movies, yeah, but you know. But see, this is my question. He still hates these Ghostbusters. He wants them outlawed. And my question is, as much as I don't like this character, are these other people in here? I'm, you know, I'm getting. Everybody's beginning to get on my nerves. My question is, you know, as much as you might hate these Ghostbusters, they've saved the world about at least three times already. You know that. Uh, New York has been infested by ghosts about three times already. Why would you want to take them away? At least why would you want to take them away without having some contingency plan plan in place? Well, they explain that it's (laughs) been many, many years. Like they did such a good job that all the ghosts were gone. So once the problem was taken care of, they were like, well, why we still need you around? Because there's a fish ghost flying through the city. Now, yeah, you know, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It's, it's obviously a problem again. So after they do that job, it's like you Ghostbusters, you're you're you're, you're banned. You're not you're not anymore. You know, child uh, 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 child labor laws and blah blah blah. And I'm like, man, <laughs> listen, you know, obviously as much as you don't like them, as goofy as they may be, you you need the Ghostbusters. Why are we doing this? And I'll tell you why. Because if we did, you wouldn't have a nostalgic callback. Oh, there is that. Yeah, yeah. I I would take some sort of explanation like you know I, I if you told me why this guy was like he is then i would take that but it's obviously they just want him to be the same character because all, all the fans love him being that character sure there's right. no there's no development because you were wanting to feed off fandom and that's, that's just lazy to me and it's uh you know and it's and, and really uh i for people like myself who are who've seen this over and over and over again? These Ghostbusters movie and 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 nostalgia and every other thing. It's just kind of man. I'm 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 done with it. The nostalgia right. is starting to be insulting to me. I'm I'm not saying you're wrong. I can only say that didn't bother me so much. In as much as they need a foil, uh, he is right to tear up the city with what they're doing. Uh, and also with him getting them on the child labor laws, I was like, he got y'all right there. That 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 shit. He he can nail you on that. He might he might yeah. bluster about everything else, but right there, yeah, that's that shit has to stop. Well, I would normally say that yes, that that is, that is true. Uh, you should get them on child labor laws, but she's the smartest one out of all of them. Yeah, <laughs> all of them, true, all, 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 of, all a bunch of. I mean, I hate to say it, I like them. I like I actually like the character. I like Paul Rudd's character in here a lot. But they're all a bunch of idiots with these lasers. They don't have that girl. They're going to tear up this city more. <laughs> well, she seems the only one who's confident with using the, the proton uh, packs yeah. and the trap. Almost everybody whose job it is to use a trap. I'm like, get the trap out there. Yeah. She's, yeah. Not, she's corralled the goat. What's where, where, taking you so long? Yeah. Yeah. And that was even in the last movie where, with podcasts and those traps. I was like, bruh, it, hit the <laughs> goddamn button. What, what, what are you doing? Oh, no. Really, man. I, I'm just... I'm I, unless I'm not against nostalgia. I'll, I'll, I'll repeat this later. I'm not against it, but when you just when you just throw it in there, it just throw it in there. You just dump it. That that's what bothers me. It, it, and it, it it's gotten to the point where it's done in so many movies. It's insulting. And Ghostbusters has been one of the biggest violators of bringing in random nostalgia, lazy random nostalgia. And I'm, and I'm just, you know, I just don't have the patience for it anymore. I, I, I kind of, I don't even have the patience for it with Marvel. And I love Marvel. I used to. It's one of the things that made me stop loving Marvel as much. And I'm, I'm tired of it, man. God, damn, boy, and all this nostalgia got me so bad. Yeah. Come, come on, Ad I know, I know. Ad <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not doing no Ad Reed. I thought you thought I was. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't. Just do your I wasn't ad no ad ad ready. No. No, no, I, I wasn't gonna do no ad read. I was not. I was not. I was not, I was, I was, I was not gonna do an ad read. You guys set up. No, 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 no. no. It's I, got me so. No, it's got me so sick and tired, man, of all this senseless nostalgia. You know, spending so much, spending so much time. I, I told you I didn't have one. I didn't have one. Uh, y'all thought I did. I'm just like, I thought I had one. I don't. You're giving these cameos to Slimer and these marshmallow dudes that you, you, your villain ends up being lame up in here. Uh, oh, yeah. One note ass. Yeah. <laughs> the rest of them. Where he show up, I'm like, where, why are you? Dying smoke! <laughs> Dying smoke is amazing. It's back, y'all. You talk about nostalgia. Now, this is the nostalgia I like. 
Do y'all remember Dying Smoke? Yes. <laughs> Dying Smoke. That, now, that's nostalgia I can deal with right there. It's been so long since we talked, talked about yeah, Dying been, Smoke. I thought you pissed them off. <laughs> Dying Smoke ghosted us, man. <laughs> Full of... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I really, I really thought Diet Smoke didn't like us anymore. I thought Diet Smoke and I were friends. And Diet Smoke, listen, I don't take a lot of ads. I have something that I, I can't see the products. I'm doing something right now. But you've seen me turn down products before because I have my, I have second thoughts about stuff I've turned down. I'm like, man, I'm actually using this right now. At the time, I didn't think I was. But this portion of the show is brought to you by Diet Smoke. And Diet Smoke is definitely one of those products that everyone looks forward to us talking about because they know that we love Diet Smoke so much. It, but now, if y'all don't know what Diet Smoke is, man, they're THC gummies. Mm. And the reason why I love them, because first of all, I told you, I'm weak when it comes to anything that's THC and our, our related uh, a product out there. I'm just weak with it. I, I, uh, I knock right out. But Diet Smoke comes in just the right doses, whether you're an amateur like me or you're an old pro at it. They got enough doses out there for everybody. And... The reason why I like them now, this is for if YouTube is watching this. This is legal. All right. This is not we're not doing we're not drug dealers here. OK. Uh, and this is amazing because this is not to just get anybody high or anything out there like that. It's to make people relax, mm -hmm. make people calm. Yeah. I have trouble sleeping. I've told you this. This is why I love diet smoke, because one of the things that it helped me with was to relax and go to sleep easy and wake up feeling refreshed. Sure with so many delicious flavors that they have over here. Let's take a look at them. But they have a lot more flavors than we started. Oh yeah, they we have started. tons of flavors now. Yeah, man, because at first they had blue raspberry and watermelon, now they got fireworks and... Fireworks? Yeah, that's another one, a, a laid back lemonade right there. <laughs> um, they also have many other products here, as you can see, but we're talking about the gummies right now. Love those gummies, man. Uh, so whether you want something strong to help you unwind or you're just looking for a little bit of a euphoric boost that'll keep you going or a light dose for just a light feeling diet smoke they got you man diet smoke is so popular right now that they are on call 24 7 to help anybody out oh dang something's going on with your order call them up man there's somebody there for you and diet smoke they are so confident in their product and they should be because We've had so many people send us videos and emails talking about how much they love Diet Smoke. I'm not lying about that. I'm not just trying to sell the product, telling what's true. Uh, they are so confident that you will also love it that they will give you some Diet Smoke for free if this is your first time trying the product right here. So all you Double Toasted listeners out there, go to dietsmoke.com slash free. All you got to do is pay $2.99 for shipping and your free pack will arrive at your door in 48 hours. Now, some of y'all, you know, you've been you've been hanging with Diet Smoke for a while since we've been talking about it. So if that's you, we, we still got that code up there for you to get a discount on some more Diet Smoke. Go to dietsmoke.com and enter the code TOASTED50 at checkout for 50% off the first item that you add to your cart. That's the code T-O-A-S-T-E-D, and that's the number 50. Put that in, get 50% off the first item that you add to your cart. And for your first time people out there, go to dietsmoke.com for free to get your free Diet Smoke. That's D-I-E-T-S-M-O-K-E.com slash free. And I know you know how to spell free. F-R-E-E -E, in case you don't. Get that free pack in 25, I'm sorry, 48 hours. 40, hey, you might get it in 25 hours, but give it 48 hours. And all you gotta do is pay $2.99, $2.99 for shipping. Welcome back, Die Smoke. Glad to have you. Glad to have you. I was running out. <laughs> they came. They came right back on time. Uh huh. I, I didn't know that they were going to uh, actually get back with us, but I got my box on. I was like, "What is this?" And I was like, "Oh, it was like Christmas." <laughs> oh, you shouldn't have. Yeah, I want to thank Die Smoke. I want to welcome them back once again. I want to thank them for sponsoring this portion of the show, and I want to thank all of you out there for your support. They spend so much time giving these cameos to, to Slimer and these marshmallow dudes that your, your villain in this ends up completely lame, man. That dude ain't nothing but, a, it really, he's just a special effect. Yeah, He's just yeah. a special effect with, with a backstory. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah, you feel nothing about his struggle mm -hmm. with his motivation or even him as a threat. And like, 
Well, they're just going to beat you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like the typical bullshit. It's like they did him wrong in the past, so now it's like, fuck y'all in the future. Even, that's, that's pretty much even what how they did him wrong in the past, I was unclear about that. I was like, <laughs> yeah, okay. I, mm-hmm. I don't, yeah. And, I don't, and, and I don't what he it. wants to do, like, yeah, you know. I want to freeze the world. Like, why? 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 Yeah, yeah, exactly. What you going to do? <laughs> yeah. I'm a ruler, yeah. I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Why you want to free as well? Too hot. <laughs> okay. This is what I do, man. Yeah. That's all, this is all I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's, he's just a CG effect that they got to fight at the end. Because mm-hmm. they got to fight something. And it's got to look cool. So, But yeah, he ain't got no personality whatsoever. No real motivation at all. None. No, no I mean, so he got to free as well. Like Martin says, so what? And that, that's not motivation. No. <laughs> that's, that's just a mission statement. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and also, as I said, man, I don't even hate nostalgia. I I, I don't. You just said you did. I, no, I said I hate it when it's thrown in randomly just for the sake of lazy fandom. I like Slimer. Slimer is my boy. I, I actually like Slimer. I do. I like <laughs> I like because Slimer had his own show. Oh, that's right. He did. Yeah. Slimer. You know, I used to love Slimer, man. I thought it was cool that they made Slimer the mascot. Now, we, Oz and I was saying uh, he's all hell out because he, you know, he uh, he sells out his own kind. <laughs> oh, on, on the on the cartoon? Yeah, because he works for the Ghostbusters. That's right. He's always snitching on the other ghosts, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, telling yeah, them yeah. Get, yeah. He's always telling them where to find the other ghosts and put them back on the plantation, man. <laughs> So I, I shouldn't like him, but you know I do like I do like Slimer, man. Well, I never liked Slimer in the movies, but I liked him in the cartoon. That's what I'm saying. I liked him in the cartoon. You know, but the thing thing is, I'm just asking. The reason why I don't like him here is because he's just there, give an explanation for the for for the nostalgia, work it into your story cleverly instead of just shoving it up my ass. You know, and if you if you actually <laughs> tell me what it's there for, give it some reason. I'm good with it. I don't mind it. I, it's funny because I I thought to myself. Wait, didn't they say they were broke? How did they afford that mountain of, of snacks that he has eaten there? Uh, man, it, it, that uh, your, your boy, uh, Ernie, <laughs> your boy Ernie Hudson, he does, he giving them money, man. They just, I, they I, just I, wasting it. Yeah, they wasting it. <laughs> <laughs> they a mountain, like a grocery store, and had that many bags of snacks. Yeah, no, he just they, uh, he just, uh, he just giving them too much money, man. They just going out and buying snacks. They know, because when they even show them cooking dinner, ain't one healthy food in there. No, no, no. At one point, Paul Rudd says, "Hey, watch my beans." <laughs> Nobody watches those beans. I was like, I wait for those beans to burn up. <laughs> no, they spilled uh, Cheetos on the floor and still ate them and everything. They ain't none of them people healthy, man. That's right, because he thought rats got into him. He was like, oh, well. Nah, <laughs> he sure did. I'll tell you one thing about Simon Dunham. He's never looked better. Who? The, the effect on Simon looks great. Oh, and it's practical. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, not, it's not even CG, I don't think. They actually, they, they did that. You know, sometimes nostalgia comes uh, uh, in the form of something good, man. You know, they, they, they didn't use a lot of CG for that. They still, it, it still looked practical. So that was kind of cool. Uh, and I'm saying all of this because... I didn't hate the movie only because I'm just irritated only because there are there are some really fun ideas in here, man, uh, that show potential for where this franchise can go. And they did in the last movie. They started to do it here and they still fall into the same old trap. If they just let go of the past, you know, just let go, release the grip. <laughs> They'll actually have something right here, man. The parts I, that, that I enjoyed a lot, uh, I like that they explore the science of the ghost. You know, there's they, they got this facility where they explore ghost containment. And the facility is fun because it's all different kind of ghosts and because they have different kind of ghosts, it captures different moods at once. Uh, sometimes it's scary, like you see right here. Sometimes it's playful, sometimes it's cute. Uh, you know, it, it what it really does is that it, it evolves the Ghostbusters story where it really hasn't been evolved before this way. You know, they they like they they study these ghosts. They're trying to improve ways of containment. You know, I thought that that was actually pretty cool what they did there, uh, with with that particular part of the story. I wish they did more of that. Um, you know, and see that's what I was talking about. This is the, the those are the kind of story elements and the kind of storytelling that made this so cool. So you see, you know, that's, you know, they captured the spirit of the cartoon because now we got ghosts that look like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, weird ghosts that look demonic or like creatures or, you know, and I I wish that they had explored that. See, there's an opportunity to go in instead of giving us, you know, things we've seen before. Tell us why 
these ghosts all look like this? Mm-hmm. You know, yes. tell us where they come from. You're studying them. You know, tell why, you know, are they do, are they from another dimension? Are they really ghosts? Are they demonic? You know, what is happening here? But they don't really spend a whole lot of time with that. They don't do that. And that's why the cartoon was so good, because the cartoon actually evolved the Ghostbusters story where the movies weren't. Also, you know, there's some other opportunities that they miss in the movie. We were talking earlier, you know, uh, about how there's an opportunity with a particular character. Um, and this is a real missed opportunity right here. Uh, they could have been talking about with this movie, they could have been talking about uh, the idea of possible good ghosts. You know, what are ghosts that are uh, that are not harmful? You mm-hmm. know, what about ghosts that are, you know, Caspers out there? You know, what about ghosts that are friendly? You know, there's good potential story elements there for that. You know, what happens if they actually meet a good ghost and not a bad one? You know, that puts them in a moral dilemma. Do they contain it? Do they befriend it? Do they study it? Do they have compassion for it? They don't do anything with that. They could have, but mm-hmm. they don't. I'll tell you where nostalgia did work for me. Uh, I, I did like what they did with the old team members joining up with the new team. Uh, this is where the, the nostalgia actually worked for me. The old crew has a reason for being there. Ernie Hudson. Ernie Hudson is great. I love how he was like the last Ghostbuster in the in the previous movies and here he's kind of running things yeah he's you know he's gone beyond the title of black ghostbuster mm-hmm. yeah like he he actually he's a he he's rich now and he's a philanthropist and he's giving them he's funding the ghostbusters and so because of that they give him a bigger role here yeah he, i mean he, had, he really does come in and lay down some knowledge on, you know, on these ghosts and everything man i i really like that um i think uh I think it's cool having uh, Dan Aykroyd back. He has something to do. The only one that they really throw in there is Bill Murray. Yeah. He, oh, why the hell is Bill Murray even here? He, he came in and did his sh- the same shtick he did 40-something years ago. <laughs> Man, I, I wish to God it had been the same shtick. But it was it was, it, a, it, was it was a it was a shell of, the, of his old shit. Because honestly, because you know, like with this movie, like you, I wasn't hating it. And mm-hmm. matter of fact, the first half of it, I was like, I kind of like this. Mm-hmm. It's it's clunky at times. It's got some good things going, but the second half is where it started to fall apart for yeah, me. Yeah. And it and it started where they get to the library and they talk. They they meet up with Patton Oswalt, and mm-hmm. he's always the guy in a geek movie who has all the knowledge and he starts to do his info dump. And I was like, okay. And it got on and on and on. And everything after that, I was like, okay, now this movie is turning to Ghostbusters too. Uh, But not just that. I was like, you know what? This is such a sequel. It's, it's reminded me more than anything of Jurassic Park Dominion. But that was the last one, right? Uh, mm. Well, what was the last direct? Uh, I, I, I mean, Jurassic I World. Yeah, Jurassic, Jurassic World. world. Yeah, 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 Jurassic Some, World. Something like yeah, yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> but, but, but it was it was just one like by the time it's getting to the end, I was like, you know what? This is this is that where you got too many main characters, and there's no sense of danger mm-hmm. with anybody. And some of our beloved older characters, like with Jurassic World Dominion, there was Jeff Goldblum. And, and with, with this, there's Bill Murray. And these are the characters I love the most who were the funniest. And here, they're just there just to kind of just say random things that that mean nothing. Yeah. It's, it's like, well, the camera's on you. Say something. And yeah, n- nothing Bill Murray said was funny. Not at all. Yeah. He he had one funny joke te- for me. There's nothing he said. It was something that he did. And I thought, that's a funny, that's a funny gag right there. It's a funny visual. But yeah, he was just doing, he, he was doing the same thing, you know, what, that he was doing the first Ghostbusters, testing people, making smart comments to, uh, towards them. But it's like it, with, with that one, he had Hal Ramis to play off of. Yeah. And here with without that, he's like the guy who's doing that that stick and everybody else is like, we don't, we don't know that joke. Like, yeah. We, we're, we're not even paying attention to that. Yeah. No, that's true. It's almost like he was inserted. Yeah, he just kind of forced in there, man. I really did like it better when it was Dan Aykroyd and Ernie Hudson working with the old, working with the new crew because I thought they were all pre- working pretty well together. Uh, you know, joining forces with the younger team mm-hmm. and making things happen. I thought they actually handled that pretty well. I wish I could have seen more than oh, here he goes. <laughs> <laughs> we had to invite him. He, he would have got his feelings yeah, hurt if we did. Who invited Garfield over there? <laughs> you know, but. I like I said, I like some of the characters, man. You know, I I like uh I like Paul Rudd. 
uh oh uh, what's her name uh, Carrie, Coon. Carrie Coon what she didn't really have she a whole she lot she 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 had no personality she in this one no no she's no. just there yeah she had nothing to do Paul Rudd is actually very funny yeah, when he is, is he not you know he's as he's usual charming. the only thing is they gave him like the the the, the typical stepdad subplot yeah. which which added nothing to this movie didn't even really need it yeah, as a matter of fact it, that was you know if they weren't so big on the nostalgia and the uh, the action that was something I was like, you could actually explore well, this. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Mm-hmm. I'm like, you have something there and they just completely go away from it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Finn Wolfhard, uh, I liked him. He didn't have a whole lot to do. He did, He had a couple of funny moments to me because he's going on about how he's 18 years old now and, they, and actually they call him out on that shit a lot in the movie. So I thought that was funny. Yeah. Again, something that they could have pushed a little bit more. Listen, I, I, don't, I don't think it's a terrible movie. It's just another disappointment. It really is a big disappointment. I, you know, I think that they've made something that younger kids can enjoy. You know, I think they've done well with that. Oh, you know, and hardcore Ghostbusters fans, but I ain't saying that no more. I ain't doing that no more. You're, you're part of the problem. Well, we had plenty of them oh, all dressed night, up in oh, costumes. And they were the ones and, clapping and for were, everyone. Were, no. Matter of fact, I talked to them. Like, I, I recognized a couple of them. They were like, oh, that was great. I was like, all right, well, what can oh, I do? You can't talk to him out of the movie, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all a matter of opinion, but I'm going to go and just make, I'm, I'm going to make a hard accusation right now. And, if, you know, like I said, it's a matter of opinion. But you goddamn Ghostbusters fans, you're part of the problem. Just like comic book fans, they Star Wars fans. I've, I've, I've said that from the beginning. Yeah. Fandom in general is the problem. And I held back on that because I'm a fan of a lot of things and I consider myself part of fandom. But fandom just is it it is it's just a hand from the grave holding things back, <laughs> man. You know, it's just everybody, every little, little little crumb and tidbit they throw out there, you just snapping it up. You're like a fucking animal at the zoo. You're throwing in snacks and you like, I'm, I'm, you know, just, you just take whatever they give you. Yeah, some of them drop on the ground and you still eat them. And you still eat them. Yeah. <laughs> You know, and you and you don't care. You're part of the problem because you 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 as long as you see something familiar, you're just like, yeah, move the on, man, and let it be better. You know, or at least demand that your nostalgia be better. Because there, like I said, they, the frustrating thing with this is that they finally were moving on in the direction that Ghostbusters should move on to, evolve the story. But they don't they, they don't want to do that. They're stubborn because people out there, they, they, the studio is too cowardly to move on because they want to cash in on their money, and you. Fans won't let them move on. You just take any kind of bullshit they give you. Yeah, you know, I, I uh, and you should ask for better. You really should. But that's again, that's just my opinion. Some other people might love this. I'm gonna give this. Uh, I'm gonna give it a rental. I, I didn't hate it. I really enjoyed some parts of it, but I really, I can't. I'm disappointed again. Well, I don't know if I disliked it as much as you, but I agree with everything you're saying, and I, I feel in that same. One, I guess one thing I do disagree with you about mm-hmm. is like saying it moved on. But the fact that it opened up with them in New York, I was like, that's not moving on. <laughs> they, right they, they went right back here. They went right, right back here. Yeah. <laughs> Just right from there. It's like, okay, we, we're back to doing the same old thing again. No, no matter what new thing you do, it all is going to boomerang right here. It's like some kind of time trap where yeah. you get so far and yeah. then you wake up, you're like, oh, damn it. <laughs> it's, it's Groundhog's Day. And you know what? You and I might not disagree as much because the parts I enjoyed, I really did enjoy. Yeah. I, had, I, had, I did have a good time in certain parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just like you, like you said, man. You got to the second part. I was like, mm. yeah, yeah. I, I just and 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 you know, don't want to spoil anything. But when I talk about not having rules, they do a whole they do a whole thing of telling you, uh, showing you how they separate spirits from from haunted items, and then later they do something with a person, <laughs> and I was like. That's not what you said. This, yeah, and it's a whole it's a whole other subplot that goes on with that. I was like, yeah, that's this isn't how this is supposed to work. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going by what you said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute, you told you me. You told yeah. me, and now you're doing this just to have this other plot point, which honestly you could have done without. That, oh, that that was a whole thing. Yeah. I was like, this I, I that whole plot point. I actually hated that. Yeah, I was like, I, hate I, it I was like, this is this is where y'all kind of pissing me off, right? Yeah. Here. And so, yeah, maybe I don't disagree with you all that much because <laughs> it is like some of it I enjoy and the rest of it I don't like. I don't hate, but it's just like, whatever, man. You just you just you turned it into something that I'm not yeah. going to watch again. But hey, if you if if if, if you're a hardcore Ghostbusters fan, why are you even listen to me? You are you are <laughs> at the movies right now. <laughs> you got your right, right. Yeah. And if you're not, 
I would say, you know, you can wait till it streams yeah. and watch it then. Yeah, exactly. You know, Martin, you can tell it right there. If you're a, hard go, a hardcore Ghostbusters fan, what, what are we going to tell you? Hey, <laughs> Slimer's here. <Yeah. laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Ernie Hudson. Yeah, Ernie. Oh, no. My God. The library go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I'm no. I'm watching some 4D. Yeah. yeah. What'd you give it? Rental. Rental. Yeah. The same here. Rental. Well, I'm right there with you guys. But I, I, I probably hate this a lot more than y'all did. Oh, dang. Because okay. I wasn't a big fan of the first one or the last one. Uh-huh. And in this one, I'm just like, I thought this was getting even worse. Like, yeah, like like you said, the first, like, 30 minutes was good. I was having fun with that first 30 minutes. But it takes, like, an hour and 20 minutes for the plot to actually get going to where it needs to be getting to. And mm-hmm. I just started getting bo- so bored throughout this entire movie. The writing is not good in these movies. I don't know. Maybe the first one is good. but at The least first one's like, amazing. Okay. The first one didn't even get by on strong writing. Got by. This is why it's so hard to repeat. Because the first one got by on the... Uh, let me see here. The first one got by on the uh, on the chemistry with all of those guys oh, right the there. Yeah, it was yeah, a great premise, forward. and it was yeah. you know they had some good ideas in there that popped up. But really, they made that movie what it is. Man. Yeah, and it's like everybody forgets like that was what made the movie. They go, oh, it was all this stuff with the ghost and the action. <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> Not really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And the, that, no, they did it, yeah, man. That's it. That's gone forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can't even replicate it, yeah, man. No. And now they're dying all the yeah, now, now, now they have like no chemistry with one another yeah. anymore. It's just, it's kind of just. It's dead. Uh, look, I'll say a couple of good things about this movie. The effects look really well, uh, really well done in here. And another thing is, and it's with same thing with all the movies. The soundtrack I think is really good, mm. and it's really it's really done well. But what? They about to say something? No, no. Oh. <laughs> but look, I, I to me these Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters movies are getting no better, and they gonna continue not getting better because you got them diehard fans that's gonna keep seeing it over and over and over again. So we're going to keep getting bullshit over and over and over again. Uh, this was a very... This would have been a f*** you, I ain't going to lie. But it, it, that soundtrack at the end of the movie is... The soundtrack. Wow, the same. music. Soundtrack, soundtrack say Because I was hating that shit. The credits rolled with it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, oh. So it's, it's, it's a low rental. Look. For diehard fans, I want I want better for y'all, but y- y'all saw the you saw the crowd we saw with yeah, last yeah, night, yeah. man. We ain't getting no goddamn better. Man, there were dudes in the in front of us, in front of me. And it was a whole road taken up with. They look like Ghostbusters. They have uniforms. <laughs> they have proton packs. Well, they there's an actual Ghostbuster society, oh, and, and they, 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 they 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 show up at charity. They show up at charity events. Oh shit! They might as well be the Society of Magical Negroes. <laughs> 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 a buddy of ours, he because he 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 always dressed up too. I was like, "You're not part of the society." He's like, "Well, I kind of got kicked out because I didn't want to. I didn't want to. I didn't want to do. I, I didn't want to submit a, a background check." And I was like, hey, you got a background <laughs> check? Well, it turns out, oh, well, because they you know they work with charities, and the charities like we got to know. And them charities are like, you. Know, I don't want to see this shit. <laughs> Yeah, goddamn Make a Wish Foundation. I don't ask for no <laughs> Ghostbusters. I, <ask> for them. <laughs> I want to see Taylor Swift. I don't want to see. <laughs> oh, sorry. Whatever, man. Taylor's busy. You got you want a Ghostbuster? Yeah, you got a Ghostbuster. Yeah. <laughs> they gonna bust you when you die. So. <laughs> then they got that post credit scene in the movie. It was like, what the? Fuck? I just want to go home. No, oh, you, did you leave? No. I think I left for Maybe that. I did. Oh, wait a minute. Was, was, it, was I, it way after that? At the oh, very, wait, very was it, end? Mid, mid credit? Yeah, mid, mid, mid credit. Okay. Mid credit. I'm, you know what? I think I saw it. I just don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> well, you made it to the end of the video. That must mean you really like what we do. So if you do, check out these other videos just like this one. Check out our other YouTube channels. And subscribe to join our wonderful Toasty community. And as always, stay toasty. <laughs> <laughs>